Bonjour and welcome back to Football Saturday. Where we must cross to the Bernabeu as the final whistle has blown. And Lafa Fernandez, what has happened? Incredible, Jeff. Incredible. Cadiz, relegated Cadiz, have defeated Real Madrid. Dos tre here at uh, here at the Bernabeu. Barcelona. Barcelona are the champions. Hi guys, I'm Aussie Villain. Welcome to episode 11 of Barcelona. And well, as you've just seen, we are champions because Cadiz, Cadiz have beaten Real Madrid at Real Madrid 3-2, already relegated Cadiz, and we're champions. We didn't even have to play. It's a bit of an anti-climax way to win it, to be honest, but uh, we'll take it. We are champions of uh, Spain, and well, at least we won something this year. So we have a quick look at uh, what that means for the league table. They have one game left to play, and they cannot catch us. So today we're going to be playing away from home against Atletico Madrid and Sevilla, and, well, it's a victory parade for us, which is absolutely wonderful stuff, if not anticlimactic. So, so there we go. Uh, we have a quick look here at the sort of the league as a whole. Ansu Fati is unlikely to get the golden boot. Um, so that's a little bit disappointing. <laughs> we'll give him a game and see if he can get seven goals in. That's going to be, it's a big ask though, isn't it? Um, but yeah, so there's not really too much uh, for us to play for. Now, of course, we also will have the end-of-season awards. Not a big, spectacular ceremony, uh, but we will have an end-of-season awards. And we'll also have our goal of the season competition this episode. So there's going to be a lot uh, a lot to look forward to. But the first thing as we can see here is our trip to Sevilla. Uh, so let's go and have a look and see what we're doing with that one. Um, you can see the formation we're expecting from them here. The uh, the old, well, it's the Mazella formation, isn't it? Um, so that's what we're expecting. This is a team that we're sending out. And as I said, we can, uh, that's not the formation I wanted. I wanted this formation. Um, yeah, so we're going we're, we're gonna to have some fun. It's Testegan in goal. It's Junior Furpo. It's Umtiti. This guy's name, the Uruguayan, and Sergio Roberto is the back four. Sergio Busquets, Puy, and Pedri in midfield. Messi and Trincao down the wings. Fati going for the golden boot up top. Well, let's get out there. So there we go. We can see the way both teams are lining up. Marcus Acuna. I think I've had him before. Uh, I think I signed him for Sydney FC ages and ages and ages ago. Anyway, that's beside the point here. Uh, let's get out there. Well, first of all, let's get into the dressing room and see what we can do. Um, great opportunity to the pundits. They've been right to back you up. Uh, what do we want to say? I mean, the pressure is literally off here, isn't it? I fully expect you to go and win the game. Uh, let's go and put uh, Fatih in on goal. Let's see if we can get him four or five goals here and make an interesting final day for the Golden Boot. All right, and here we go. Now, if you're wondering where Jordi Alba is, he's picked up a suspension for accumulated yellow, so that's why there's no uh, Jordi Alba in this one. And we do have a young left back we caught in from the under-19s. Uh, as sort of back up for that position. So we'll see. We'll see how we get on. Uh, it's this guy. Where is he here? Oriol Soria. Um, he's probably never going to make it. He's a promising fullback though. So we'll you know, give a kid a chance and see how he gets on. We'll give them some encouragement here. Um, it can always be a little bit difficult once you've already won the league to uh, to then try and get a performance out of him. Let's try and demand more here perhaps. Um because it's not particularly happening for us just now, is it? All right, let's see if before half time if we can go and change things. They're probably a little bit narrow, aren't they? So let's try that. Uh, have we got a knock for Messi? We have got a knock for Messi. What's he done to himself? What have you done to yourself, Lionel? Um, he's picked up a knock. It's a bruised knee. You're fine, Messi. All right, well, this has been disappointing, hasn't it? Um, all right, well, let's, uh, let's get assertive and not happy with that, boys. Junior Furpo is looking a little bit demotivated, so we'll uh, pump some fists, shall we? But you're capable, and it hasn't worked. All right, well, we'll, <laughs> we'll just get back out there and see if we can get anything from them here. Maybe a fire up. All right, we've got a highlight. We've got something for this second half. Ball thrown in. It's headed away. Furpo's there, though. Back for Busquets. Could be his final game that we'll see of him. I think we'll probably bring... Uh, De Jong back in. There it is for Messi with his bruised knee. Wonderful ball for Fati. Ansu Fati gets himself a 23rd of the season. Messi with the assist and well this golden boot isn't over just yet. It's pretty much over. It was, it was five behind it wasn't he? So he's still got a lot of work to do. We'll tell him to focus um, but we just needed to rant and rave at them apparently. Messi wonderful ball through. Fati timed his run to perfection and he's not missing that is he? Not tell Ansu. Wonderful wonderful stuff. So 1-0 to Barcelona, away to Sevilla. Now, they're, they're not the best team going around this season. We've kind of seen that. Um, they're sort of just above mid-table. But they're still a dangerous team. Some good players. They're obviously Rakitic. They've gone over the top there. Arunjo picks it up. Looks to get forward, mate. You're a centre-back, not a right-back. Let's maybe... There we go. Messi 
Don't encourage him, Messi. Cross to the back post. Oh, Messi! Oh, 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 oh Lionel Messi! What is he? Well, he was always going to be in contention for goal of the season, wasn't he? And he's shown us there. That is definitely one we're going to be having a look at. Did he mean it? Was it an overhit? I mean, it's Messi. It's not an overhit cross, is it? Arunjo has absolutely stolen an assist there. He's meant that too. Look at that. Goalkeeper off the line. And that is absolutely stunning from Lionel Messi. He's finishing the season like a house on fire. Where was this early on, mate? If you'd started playing like this, maybe we would still be in the Champions League as well. Um, let's give them some praise. How's your knee looking, Messi? He's fine. He's fine. Pedri's not looking a little bit tired, not having the best game. Let's make some changes. Busquets not having the best game in there either. That's not what I want to do. I want to click this one. Uh, so who do we have on the bench? All right, let's get one Busquets on for the other. That's that one done. Um, Pedri's not having a great game. Let's get Alina on for him. Let's see what he can do. I haven't played Alina for a while. The other one not playing well is Trincao. Um, he's on the left, isn't he? Do we get Coutinho on? Let's see what Coutinho's got for us. And um, confirm those subs, please, game. And is there a third goal? Could we get Fati a second? Maybe just keep it alive. Because the final day, we're going away to Atletico Madrid. So he's unlikely to go and rack up the goals against them. But we've pressed them into a mistake here. There's a nice ball. Fati's in again. Can he get a second? Of course he can. Fati, with, he's, as good as a, he's as close to a sure goal as I think I've ever seen. He is a wonderful player having a wonderful season. A 24th of the season. Of course, not all of those are going to be in the league. But we pressured them into a mistake. Messi for Puy. Puy, we've, how many times have we seen him do that? Just put a goal on a plate for a striker. And Ansu Fati takes it away. And now with five minutes to play, he's on a hat-trick. And is there a chance he could go and get it? Now how close? No, he's timed it to perfection. He's a wonderful player, Ansu Fati, isn't he? Good finish as well. And can he go and get himself a hat-trick? We're into stoppage time. A few minutes to play. It's been a wonderful second half. At least I didn't lose my temper for nothing at half time. And there it is. Here we go. We have the uh, the trophy ceremony. Of course, it was happening today in any case. First time I've seen this, though. Here we go. Handing it off there to Lionel Messi. One, two, three. There we go. La Liga champions. Barcelona. We won something this year. We didn't have the indignity of having a season at Barcelona with no trophies whatsoever. So I save myself a little bit of embarrassment there. But um, there we go. We've earned that this season. We have been a good team in the league, if not fantastic in Europe. And uh, well, I think we've only lost one game so far. So we've earned that. Really, really well done. Really happy with that as well. Excellent stuff. Uh, all right, let's go to the dressing room. Uh, what do we say? Good win, boys. Well done. So Rakitic suffers defeat against former club. Uh, Messi is injured. A bruised knee. You're fine, mate. It didn't stop you scoring the goal of the season. So... <laughs> so there we go. Messi on form. It's good to see him. At least we've got a little glimpse of what Messi can do in these final games of the season. Just a shame it didn't come a little bit earlier. Guys, wait right there. They will be back to round up the season. We go to away to Atletico Madrid. Can we finish on a high? Okay, welcome back. Now, unsurprisingly, best young Spanish Spanish league young player, sorry, is Ansu Fati. If there was there was no doubt he was ever going to win that. He should win player of the season, I think. 23 games, 21 goals, 2 assists. If we have a look at some of the other players who have won this award, it wasn't given two seasons there, but um, Asensio has won it. It's not always given out, which is weird, isn't it? Rafinha, Isco, Ilamendi, uh, PK, Martinez, Javi Martinez, Borjan, Alexi Sanchez, Lionel Messi, Sergio Ramos. Um, he joins an illustrious group of players there, doesn't he? So uh, well done, Ansu Fati. But let's go have a look and see what we're doing here. Final league game of the season uh, up against Atletico Madrid. We're expecting the good old 4-4-2. It's a Marcelo Bielsa coach uh, team these days. And, well, let's go and have a look at the team that we're sending out. And it is... We're going to go out with our best team, I think. This is, I think, our team of the season, more or less. So, just taken in goal. Alba, Longley, PK, and Roberto as the back four. It's De Jong in behind, Coutinho and Pjanic in midfield. Messi and Dembele down the wings. Ansu Fati up top. He needs five goals to be uh, the golden boot winner. Unlikely, especially against Atletico Madrid, but you never know. And, of course, that's five goals, assuming that Isaac doesn't score for uh, Real Sociedad. But uh, we've got Luis Suarez in the opposition lineup. He's almost certainly going to score against us, isn't he? Uh, what do we want to say to this? Um, we'll have to be assertive. Let's show the pundits that they're right to back you up. That's not a bad team talk for the final day, is it? Fist pumping. Come on, boys. Get out there. Let's go show Luis Suarez who's boss. Let's go show Bielsa who's boss. Let's show La Liga who's boss. 
All right, and here we go. Now, Atletico Madrid are second in the form table. I'm assuming second behind us. So we have drawn a couple recently, so maybe not. Um, but yeah, one final time at Barcelona. I've really, really enjoyed the season here. Um, it's a shame that we didn't really get things going until late on. Um, if you're wondering what's going to happen, is Dembele a wonderful first touch. Can he play an Ansu Fati for an early goal? He's done really, really well. Dembele, he's going to go himself, and in the end... He draws a save, so he's done quite well there. Oblak with a decent save. Messi to take a corner. And let's see if we can pick out a teammate. It's towards the back post. Headed away. Koke has it. We've got players back. We've got players retreating, but uh, this is a little bit dangerous. He's gone past one. PK tries to get back to Stegen, makes the save, and it's a game of basketball right now, end-to-end. -end. Um, there is going to be, obviously, replacement saves for this. This was only ever going to be a beta series. Um, can we get that away, please? Well, it's not the best start for us. Let's maybe give it a focus. Um, there is going to be a series with Sheffield Wednesday trying to win the Champions League for the first time with the, the, uh, the great Sheffield club, uh, and we've lost Dembele to injury. Um, enjoy your summer, mate. You're going to be on the... Uh, on the table, the physio table. So we'll bring on Trincao. So hopefully he'll be better than he was last time. Uh, and we're also going to do a series in Northern Ireland um, with uh, HNW. I think it's HNW. HNR Welders anyway. Uh, some some welding team. Um, and we're going to, again, we're going to see if we can. It's the impossible dream like we did with Bala last season. And see if we can go and, uh, oh, it's a penalty. Fatih's gone down. Now he is, he is going for the golden boot here. Um, let's, let's let him take a penalty here. Uh, penalties. Let's get Ansu Fati. He's not the worst penalty taker either, so let's put him on penalties. Fati to penalties, please. Do we need to do this? And then add, pl oh, add player. If you paid attention, Aussie villain, that would uh, that would help. Um, yeah, so it's sort of a, a similar, well, it's the same sort of idea as the Barla Town uh, series last season or last FM, uh, where we're going to see exactly how far we can take them. Um, it is a penalty, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, yeah, see exactly how far we can take them. With Bala Town, we never really... Well, we didn't get past the first knockout round of the Champions League. Hopefully, we'll do a little bit better than that this time. Here we go. Ansu Fati. Oh, he's missed it. Well, it's the first time I think we've seen Fati miss in a while. So we've got another corner here, though. Towards the back post again. Again, it's headed away. Koke is uh, a little bit too much space there. And we've got another highlight beginning. At least it's an entertaining final game of the season. There's a ball forward. Longley is with Suarez. Dives in. Is that a penalty? I mean, that looked less of a penalty, to be honest. We're going to find out. Are we checking with Varref? Or what's going on here? To Stegen, get back in goal, mate. You have no need to be up charging the referee. Uh, and it is no penalty. All right. Suarez, you diving bastard. Get up. Unbelievable. All right. What can we do here to try and improve our fortunes? I mean, it's been a decent game for the final game of the season. Koke with a corner. It's claimed by Testegen. Now, that's surely not the highlight. Can we look to get it forward here nice and quickly? We can towards Messi, but uh, it was red there. And here we go with Atletico Madrid. Can we get to the... Oh, no, not quite with De Jong. Come on, boys. We're not quite looking as safe defensively as I'd ideally like us to look. Messi's doing his job there nicely. Still lets the cross come in. Oh, it's a deflected clearance. To Stegen can't see anything. And, well, that's a little bit of bad luck there for us, I would say. We'll tell him to focus. Uh, but that really didn't go our way. There was a number of deflections there. Messi's done okay in the end that got in. De Jong's clearance straight off uh, Sergio Roberto. Shot blocked, fell back to Koke, to Stegen, it's probably going well, he's probably seasick, he's going back and forth so much. And unfortunately, that has ended in the back of the net. Um, Dembele is injured, why have we been taking Messi off for Dembele again? That doesn't seem like it makes sense, does it? Um, well, we're a little bit unlucky there, I think. We've had a penalty, so it's our own fault we've missed that. Uh, we have to point the finger, we expect to see more in the second half. Uh, we'll do some no gesture... We have faith. And, well, hopefully we'll be better second. <coughs> <coughs> second half. All right, let's get back out there, boys. Come on, let's finish this season on a high, please. Let's encourage them. Messi's looking tired. He's only playing a 6.3. Um, we don't really have anybody to go out there, do we? De Jong. 
He gets it forward for Alba, for De Jong. Crossfield pass, looking for Sergio Roberto. He's got a little bit of space. It's a block shot. Messi picks it up. Eventually finds Pjanic. Pjanic for Trincao. Trincao's got a side at goal. And draws another good save from the goalkeeper. I mean, there was that one, the Dembele chance in the first half. Messi with a corner towards the back post. It's headed away. Ansu Fati should get to that first. And let's see what he can do with this. Goes back to Alba. And that'll end the highlight, unfortunately. We saw last game we were much better in the second half, but uh, we're not really getting that from us here, are we? Messi's only playing a 6.2. Ansu Fati's only playing a 6.2. Um, all right, I wonder if we try Messi up top. And it was always a long shot that Fati was going to be able to get uh, to get the goals. So we might need to, to make a change. Um, let's see what happens with this one. Trincao gets a cross in. Fati's there. It's blocked away. It's there for Messi. Oh, Messi. That's, I mean, we, we could, should be winning this game. And now we're 2-0 down. And we are going to need to make changes. Multiple, multiple changes. I'm wondering if actually, you know what we might do? Is just change formation. Um, we'll stick Fati up there. We'll stick Pjanic in there. Uh, let's get... What do we need? What do we need? I mean, really, we need Messi and Fati off the pitch, don't we? Um, but we are gonna. We don't really have any other options as strikers, to be honest. It's just the two youngsters. So let's go with... Um, let's go with Carlos Alina. We'll leave Coutinho on for now. It seems harsh taking Trincao off when he was a sub to come on. All right, let's get Fati off. You've had your chance, mate. We'll keep Trincao up there. And we'll just see maybe a change in formation that'll uh, give them something different to think about. I don't think we've been second best. I certainly don't think we've been 2-0 second best. But we are still losing the game. And... Yeah, a little bit. Again, it's a block shot initially that's fallen back for them. Um... And it's all a little bit harsh on us just now, I think. Let's try and demand a bit more. Messi's playing a 6.1. He's finished the season, unfortunately for us, how he's played the majority of it. So let's get the new Messi on. You can play as a deep line forward. Yeah, I don't even need to check. We're just going to say you can. Um, who else isn't playing well? We'll do full cull of anybody that's not playing well. All right. Coutinho, you've annoyed me. Pedri, you can come on for him. Another flop this season, isn't it? Longley's not having a great game at the back. All right, let's get him TT on for you. I almost started him TT too. Is that our five subs? That's our five subs. So that's it. We've got 12 minutes to try and uh, save ourselves here and finish on a high. But it doesn't look particularly like that's going to happen. But, um, yeah, I mean, that's a disappointing way. I mean, Atletico Madrid away is a tough end to any season, no matter who you are. But, uh, yeah, I would have liked at least a better performance. Maybe we should have let Messi take the penalty. We go 1-0 up and it's a different game, isn't it? So, um, maybe that's a little bit silly. 3-0 would be ridiculously harsh. But uh, they've been the better team. You know, you know we, just, we haven't taken our chances, but we haven't had many of them either. Is this an end-of-game highlight? Still 50 seconds to play. We're not going to win the game, so that's disappointing. Can we at least get ourselves on the score sheet? Alba to Trincao. Back to Alba. There is another good ball for Trincao. It's blocked behind for a corner. Now, we haven't really looked like scoring a corner all game, so that's unlikely to change here. Pjanic to take it. Got a lot of players forward. It's a decent one. Again, it's headed away. Back to Pjanic. We've got about two seconds left. Is there anything? No, there's not. Well, that's a disappointing end to what's otherwise been a, a relatively good season. It's XG, so it's a relatively even game, but they've had far more shots on goal, so it's difficult to argue that... Um, yeah, that we deserve too much from that. Let's be assertive. That was not what we wanted, boys. It really was a disappointing end. So there we go. Suarez gets one over on Barcelona. Dembele's injury, it's not too bad. Uh, he's close to triggering a clause. Unfortunately for him, it will never happen because that brings us to the end of the series, doesn't it? But guys, wait right there. We still have the end of season awards and goal of the season as well. We'll be right back for that in uh, just a quick edit. All right, now this is, of course, one of the new features of the game. So let's have a look at this. Barcelona end of season review for the 2021 season. New arrivals, Braithwaite was the one that left. Um, I do wonder in hindsight if maybe we could have kept him, but he wasn't that good, was he? He really, really wasn't. Season results. You can see there, this is how the table finishes up. Uh, we're comfortable title winners in the end. Just the two defeats, which is always disappointing against both. It was both the Madrid teams away from home, so... You can just about excuse that. 
Um, we don't worry about the Friendly Cup. The Champions League, uh, we never really got going, did we? We got out of jail against Manchester United and Liverpool just were just a little bit too good for us in the end there, which was disappointing. Spanish Cup, we didn't really beat... Well, we mean, Real Betis is a decent team. I think they ended up in the Champions League, but then obviously we just, again, a little bit short against Real Madrid. And the Super Cup, we didn't particularly care. It was a stunning game, 4-5, but uh, again, we managed, to, we managed to go out and lose that one. Moments to remember. The biggest win, the 6-2 against Valencia last episode, that was stunning. Um, match to remember was the 4-1 against Wesker. That, that must have been the first game of the season, was it? And uh, moment to you know, so the goal of the season, as given by Gamer, we will come back to this in just a second, but De Jong's real, really, really good drive against Cadiz, Cadiz uh, not that long ago, actually. That was uh, back in April. So, uh, again, we'll come back to that in a second. We'll be able to vote for your goal of the season. The finances, uh, what do we got here? Sponsorship. You can see all the money there. Shirt sales, we sold over a million shirts. Messi, obviously, the top with uh, Griezmann, Fati, Coutinho, and PK as the others. 50 million in merchandise sales. And, um, yeah, well, obviously, we don't have anything to compare it to, but it all looks pretty good to me. How are we lined up? So this is the best 11. Uh, they've gone with the Mazella formation, which is fine, I suppose. Uh, Testegen in goal, Alba, PK, Longley, and Dest as the back uh, as the back four. De Jong, fair enough. Pjanic and Alina is probably fair enough. Griezmann, Fatih, and Messi as the front three again is probably fair enough. Um, you can see all the games that everybody played there that's in that best 11. But Ansu Fati for me, is the find of the season. What a player he's been. So here we go, the accolades. This must be the awards. Um, I had 79 caps and six goals for Australia. That's news to me. you think I'd remember that. Uh, I won manager of the year, so that's nice, I suppose. Uh, club awards. Fans player of the season was Jared Piquet. Young player of the year was Ansu Fati. Goal of the season. So we'll come back to that in just a second. But that was Frankie de Jong, the top goal scorer in the league. I think this is is 21 for Fati. Most assists. Rafa, oh, was it Rique Puig. He was absolutely brilliant. I'm glad to see he won something. Messi was the most man of the match awards. Ansu Fati with the highest average rating at 7.3083. Wow, that really goes into decimals, doesn't it? Um, and competition awards. Uh, next gen. So that's young player. Oh, so he's won two awards there for young players of different competitions. Record breakers. Most assists in a season by a player. I mean, these none of these particularly count, do they? Um, Messi with 511 appearances, Messi with goals, and Ansu Fati's fastest goal of all time. That does actually count, so well done to, uh, to Ansu Fati there. What's up next? History in the making. Uh, so that's the league table, um, and we've won the league, as it says there. It was a superb season for, I've never heard Barcelona called Las Cules, or however you say that, as they claim the title to back up their preseason credentials, and, um, well, that brings us to the end. Well, that was that's a nice little feature there, isn't it? Uh, squad dynamics update. This is how things look at the end of the season. Uh, new season team report. Again, this is all sort of new features, so we'll go through it and, and see what we get here. Um, we can see all the injuries there as well. End of season squad break. Is there anything else here? English players that don't particularly bother us. Spanish League Player of the Year, Gaia, Cruz, and Fakir. That seems a little bit uh, harsh that we didn't have anybody in the top three there. Um, Isaac, that's, I mean, he was he was quite good. In the end, Fati drops down to uh, to third. But if you'd got your penalty, mate, who knows what would have happened. Um, what's this? This is the top Spanish goal scorer. So Fati was second in that. And Naki Williams was third. Uh, Courtois, Spanish Goalkeeper of the Year. To Stegen comes in second. Uh, I was Spanish Manager of the Year, so well done to me. The choking hazard that is Zinedine Zidane there in third. Um, the Spanish Team of the Year. So we had Roberto, Pique, Pjanic and Fati on the, st in the starting 11. Messi and Alba on the bench. How long has it been since Messi wasn't in the uh, in the starting 11 of that team, I wonder? And Barcelona elections on the horizon. That doesn't really affect us too much at all. Uh, so, guys, this brings us, of course, now to um, to goal of the season. Oh, you've got to, and I've got to do your uh, viewers player of the year as well. So let's have a uh, quick drum roll for that. And with 75% of the vote, the winner is obviously Ansu Fati. He's been a revelation this year. Uh, so well done, Ansu Fati. That's who you guys have voted um, your viewers player of the year this season. So well done to him. This, of course, now brings us to our goal of the season. Now, the way this works, if you are new to my channel, is that uh, there will be the De Jong goal that the game gave as goal of the season. The Messi goal we saw against... Uh, 
against um, Sevilla and two others that I deem worthy of, or three because Messi's as well, uh, that I deem worthy of potentially being goal of the season. Now, similar to voting for the viewers player of the year, there'll be a link down the top of the description. Click on that. I understand it was a little bit, took a little bit of time to load uh, for the player of the year. Hopefully it'll, it will work fine this time. Um, and yeah, vote for your favorite goal. And before we get to the final goals, uh, the final four goals, there's a few honorable mentions as well to enjoy. But that brings us to the end of our series with Barcelona. I've had, I've really enjoyed it. It's been a, a much more challenging season than I was maybe expecting. Um, and if you do want, it's, it's a decent challenge, this. It really, really is already 70 million pounds in debt going into the new season. Um, it's a challenge. It's, it's a, it's a big rebuilding job, and I think it's maybe one that might be worth people having a go at. Um, but yeah, as I said, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I hope you have as well. Uh, hit thumbs up if you've enjoyed it as well. Uh, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you. We'll be back. There'll be some tutorials I have coming out if you're new to the game. Uh, and also, as I said, Sheffield Wednesday and some Northern Irish football as well. So a lot to look forward to. I hope to see you for that. Uh, hopefully I will, and I will uh, leave you with goals of the season. Thank you so much, guys. Take care. Here are our top four goals from the 2021 season. Don't forget to vote for your favorite.